Hi, my name is Steven, and I'm a fourth year physics major, and I studied abroad in Lund, Sweden at Lund University for my third year. In order to stay on track and graduate on time, I had to take major classes while I was abroad. The classes that I took were quantum mechanics, electro, you know, magnetism, classical mechanics, stuff, physics, stuff like that. My classes consisted of upper division physics classes. So I took a quantum information class and a programming class over there, which was really fun. But I also have had the opportunity to take physics electives that weren't offered here at UCSB. Uh, I was also there for the summer and I took Swedish language classes. You'd have two semesters and within each semester you'd have two periods. So it's always two classes at a time, but four classes in a semester. So I feel like that allows someone to like slow down, understand what they're doing and like be able to have a life outside of classwork and stuff. There were homework sessions in the morning. The entire class would be in a classroom and the professor and TAs were there and we would just do, you know, homework or ex exercises. If the professor noticed that there was like a common question everybody had, he would just address the entire class right there. And I feel like that's really efficient. Yeah, the professors were incredibly nice. They didn't have office hours at all. So you were free to just knock on their door and you know ask them any question that you had if their door was open if they were there it was really easy to get close to the professors because you see them every week class sizes in sweden definitely were smaller than they are in ucsb something about the classroom the class environment was that i noticed everybody there was really close and they all knew each other pretty well because their first two years they have pretty much the same schedule whereas here the first two years you just have like the same class like just one class with other physics majors so it you aren't really that close to your peers because you only see them i guess once every other day or like two two days a week whereas over there you, we see each other every day so i got to see my classmates you know every day in the morning we'd have lunch together and then in the afternoon we'd see each other again for the same class and i think doing that you really get to know people in your major like a lot like better than you do here. In Sweden, they know how to segment their lives. They have really good like work-life balance. So when it's time to work, they're 100% there. But when it's off work, they're 100% off. They know how to like, relax. Over here, it's hard to separate work and private life. I would just say there's more work at once, right? Because here, in a quarter, you take three or four classes at once. But over there, you take two classes at a time. The weather was definitely like a first time thing because being from California, I've never really experienced, you know, the seasons shifting. But over there, yeah, the winters are cold and rainy and it's like inconvenient sometimes, but it's really nice seeing the transition from like summer to fall to winter to spring again. I was really blessed to go through that entire cycle. Now, like I'm so much more grateful for like being here at Santa Barbara where there's sun every day. Uh, it's super convenient just traveling within Europe because everything is so close and like super cheap. There's a lot of bike paths that go everywhere and I took advantage of that really well. So I biked, you know, all around as far as I could. My favorite place would be their beach. It's called Loma Beach. I found like this fire pit and I was like, oh cool, we could do like a barbecue thing here. So we did. It was really cool. It was really nice. Around there, there's a city called like Biarred. In the summer, I'll never forget this. We went to a sauna or like bathhouse, and it was like in the middle of the sea. And the people in my class, we all went. And then there was like a sauna. We all did like the Swedish sauna. That's like a thing you do. What was crazy was like we walked down the steps, like, and then we went into the sea, and that was like really crazy. You can never do that in the U.S., you know, only in Sweden. So that was really cool. There's just so much to talk about. Like it's all the little things that make study abroad like you know, priceless. So the most important thing that I got out of studying abroad was, I always recommend people studying to study abroad for a year. That's because you go through like this 
transformation as a person because you're never really independent until you really study abroad. Being outside of your country, away from your friends and family, just like by yourself, trying to like to make it work. Because after a while, the place starts becoming your, your home, you know? You start getting really comfortable with just the routine. I feel like after studying abroad, I developed my confidence and my belief in my ability to adapt. Studying abroad is really good training for developing your ability to like deal with the unknown. For physics majors, one, you should study abroad because you're never really gonna do this ever. It's something you should definitely take advantage of and the physics department is really, really helpful in wanting students to go abroad, uh, especially if you want research opportunities or internship opportunities, there's just so many. You just ask any faculty and they'll point you to the right resources. So definitely all you have to do is ask. Just ask for help and professors here will help you. Another thing is as physics majors, we tend to be on the shy side, the more introverted side, and I feel like it's important to develop your other side, like the more sociable, the more extroverted side. It will just make you more capable of dealing with whatever problems come in the future. The last word of advice I'd give is that even though physics, I guess, was like the focal point of my study abroad experience, I think that everything I learned outside the classroom was what was priceless about the experience. It's all the lessons you learn, all the friends you make, and all the people you meet, and all the like struggle you go through. That's what makes study abroad different from studying at UCSB. So I definitely challenge all physics majors to study abroad. Mm -hmm.